When it comes to 4th of July food, mm. it's the top dog. It's just wonderful. The hot dog is as American as it gets. One with mustard, ketchup, and onions. And one with sauerkraut and mustard. And Lloyd Handworker should know. My grandfather was Nathan Handworker. That's right, the Nathan of Nathan's Famous. A Polish Jewish immigrant, Nathan started a humble hot dog stand right here on Coney Island back in 1916. He came with no English and just enough money to come to Ellis Island. German immigrants brought Frankfurters to the U.S. in the 1800s, but it didn't become an American symbol right away. Nathan gained customers when he decided to drop his prices to just five cents a dog. Once the depression rolled around, that's when the business started taking off because you could feed a family of four for, you know, under 50 cents. Pretty soon, everyone was coming to Coney Island for a dog. The sidewalk out here was lined with people pushing in to the counter as the boardwalk was packed. As time passed, hot dogs became synonymous with American culture. At the cookout, the baseball game, and of course, that 4th of July tradition, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. 74. It's hard to say what makes the hot dog so special. It's portable and it's quick. High quality meat on a bun. But one thing is clear, after more than a century. These are great, it's been a long time since I've had Nathan's. Really yeah. good. Yeah, that is good. It's still an American classic. Michael George, CBS News, Coney Island. That's a pretty good story assignment right yeah, there. That's yeah, not sure. bad. Mm -hmm. The National Hot Dog and Sausage Council estimates that Americans eat 150 million hot dogs every year on the 4th of July alone. Wow. My family did their part yesterday. Yes, we did too. We